I want to challenge. I want to challenge Pan-Africanism. I want to challenge the Hebrew Israelites. I want to challenge Sinetta TV, all those scholars. I want to challenge Young Fat. I want to challenge Riza Islam. I want to challenge Nuri Muhammad, Brother BNX. I want to challenge the black conscious community. I offer this challenge. I will even challenge those who've been here before. But see, they're children. And it's very difficult to have a conversation with a child because when they get caught up, and you know how we do it here, it's like a courtroom. They can't handle the heat. So they turn to name calling and other crap. Like the little fella that came here a few a week or so ago. He started falling apart. He was on Facebook with his chest all poked out or whatever. But in the real world, see, they're not used to the real world. When you come here, this is the real world. All that huffing and puffing and all that emotional rhetoric, that don't work here. And you claim you got all this research and scholarship and you, we'll bring it then. That might work in your world. That don't work in the real world. You know how we do it here. Like a courtroom. And nobody disrespect nobody. I know how to be quiet. These people can't even be quiet. I can sit, take my notes, and wait my turn. These people so childish, I sat back in the cut, didn't say nothing. Soon as I say something they don't like, wait a minute, blah, blah. I, what you talking for? Because we're going to destroy your kindergarten beliefs, your teachings. And it's easy to do. You can't do nothing with us except complain. You cannot expose and just snub up seven. You cannot destroy what we bring here. Because it's reality. You can't do nothing with reality. Either you accept reality or you in denial. Take your denier ass back to where you come from because you can't, you'll never get that stuff off here. I refuse to let some people who suffer from mental disorder, hallucinations, to come here and talk about they won. You can only pretend if you actually debate Angel Snub Number no. 7 and really show me that I was an error, I would give you your credit. I have no problem with that, like the little fella. You got to pretend like you did something. What did you do? You a grown, what did he say? You a grown man. You, what they got to do anything? You supposed to be here, sir, to defend Elijah Muhammad and the teaching. And he brought no information to do none. child. So I entertained the child. I already knew what we was dealing with. Child. All those people that come to my platform in the past was children. And they still children. Still spitting the same childish rhetoric. Still children. And they will huff and puff and say something about Angel Snub Number 7. But when they come here and have to deal with me in person, it's a different ball game. You will either submit or take your childish ass on somewhere. Because you can't do nothing with, this is reality here. This is us. Everything that I got come from us. It's not coming from Arabia. It's not coming from somebody's teaching that you got some foreigners. It all comes from the essence of us. What can you do? The only thing they do is come here and regurgitate. Talk about your God. Where your God at? Where your 
spiritual realm at. I've been, I've been waiting for them to bring this God and spiritual realm and all this hallucination, all this foolishness. Bring it to the channel. Bring your God. I will come to your live stream. Nobody's scared. I'm not scared of none of you. Don't have, they don't have nothing that can challenge what we have here. They offer nothing original. Nothing of self-discovery. All of their research and scholarship came from somebody else. A book they read from somebody else. That's their research. That's their opinion. That's their study. Keep sending me all these links. Somebody was telling me about the court system. About family court. I have sat, I have sat in family court. It's free. Many of these courts, y'all can go to court. Most of us, it's, it's too boring. We're not interested. Oh, we can watch some of it on TV. They're making these claims about family court or whatever based upon some links, some stuff. It's easy for you to do. They never talk about their personal experience, their own personal research. You have people in your family that's married. You have people in your family, brothers that, that don't pay their child support. You have you have sisters you, you, uh, and other people. You have relatives and friends. They don't talk about them. Do you? What do you know? I'm not talking about no link. I'm not talking about some survey they did with a hundred people on the street. What do you, we are like, we don't have a life. I have sat in family court. It's free. And you listen to the, to the court cases all day. So what I'm telling you is based upon my hands-on personal experience because I was in a court and I watched the various cases. There's no men lined up in family court trying to get custody of their children. I have not seen it. What I have seen and what I know are a bunch of men happy that a woman would deny or play games because he didn't get arrested anyway. That's the reality of it. I want to see my children. Okay, ask them what, they, what have they actually done to get custody or see their children. Nothing. I guarantee you, they've done nothing. There was a man, I believe in the 1990s, I forgot who he was. Uh, you can look it up. Uh, Alien, Alien Gonzalez, I believe that's what his name was. His mother and, and, and the son, Alien Gonzalez's mother, they was coming from Brazil somewhere and the mother died. She drowned on the raft or whatever, and the little boy survived. Uh, they came from Cuba. Yeah, they came from Cuba. And the family here adopted, you know, they took in the little boy. And the father, I think he's still in Cuba. I believe it was Cuba. Alien Gonzalez. He's a grown man now. He was a little child back then. Okay. This man spent over five years fighting to get his son. And he finally got him. These men don't have a story like that. They love and hope that the woman in the court will keep them children with that female so he can go out and make more babies. Matter of fact, some of these guys will take care of, of other men's children. Because they messing with the mother and won't do nothing for them. Y'all know how things go. You know that what they talking about on social media is a, is a bunch of bull doo doo. These men don't like children like that. They happy. That's just an excuse. I want my children. You know, they don't want no children. This is what I see with my own eyes. I don't give a damn about your study or what Samuel 
what's his name? May he rest in peace. Uh, Kevin Samuel said, I don't give a damn about that stuff. You see things with your own eyes. How you gonna deny what you see and experience with your own eyes? In, in your own family. Hell, you are involved. How you gonna deny that? Talk about a study. I read this book. What about, we act like we don't have no lies and we don't experience nothing. Hell, your own daddy is probably a deadbeat. Don't pay child support. Don't give, didn't give a damn about you. You gonna talk about defending these these men? There's deadbeat mothers also, but most of the time, women will not abandon their children. That's not that's not the norm. And there are single fathers, but that's the minority. We know we know how it, how it rolls. I'm not going to defend these bums and give them an excuse. What I see with my own eyes. Go to court. There's no lies of no men, of no race. I'm trying to get out. I got to have my children. They're not interested. They don't have no responsibility. They love that. Act like they don't have any children. Go to the next woman. Matter of fact, might tell the next woman, I don't have no children. Damn liar. You lie. So we don't do that. We don't live in the past. There was a there was a meme on Facebook. When I was a child, I was with Dr. King. When I became an adult, I went to Malcolm. What did Malcolm, I mean, we love Malcolm X. What did Malcolm X do? We are living right now what little it is with Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement being able to change some laws and flip some things. And we are benefiting right now to this day. What are we living and benefiting from what Malcolm X and all this Pan-African stuff. What, what are we what are we what are we doing? Put it in the chat room. What are we? Because I, I might be ignorant. I, I, I mean, let me know. And you see how they attack affirmative action. That was because of the action of Dr. King and those people. What are they attacking from Malcolm X? What are they attacking from all this Pan-African? Uh, uh, pro-black black, black national movement stuff. They didn't produce nothing to attack except a bunch of talk. And that's all they're doing right now is a bunch of talk. They ain't producing nothing. Put in the chat room what all this Pan-African black nationalism stuff that we benefit from, from then, how do we benefit now? Put in the chat room. We're not prejudiced. I might be ignorant because I'll tell you right now. I don't know it all. You might tell me something I don't know. All thing they did was talk. That's all they're doing right now. Get up in the morning and make a damn video. The white man do this. The white man do that. And that's the, that's the same stuff they was doing. Except in the 1960s, you, you run your mouth too much, you might get a bullet in the brain. But you ain't worried about that in, in 2023. You're not worried about that. They did. Now they did. They were victims of Cointel Pro. And they could get their brains blowed out in the 1960s. But not now. You ain't worried about that. These Pan-Africans, they, they plan it on when they go into Red Lobster. And this was a very hot weekend, hot week. 